You guys, first of all, I'm sorry I haven't been here in a little bit. I have had the most unusual stomach issue that's been a little bit debilitating and feeling low-grade nauseous on top of it for the past week. So I don't know that it's actually over, but I do feel less nauseous today and less visiting that room today. So not to give you away too much details, but I am sorry. Today I wanted to do a going through my trash, going through my empties, trash talk, because I think it's a fantastic way to give you many reviews on things. And because I haven't done one in a very long time, it's been more than six months. I've shot a couple, but I never edited them, and I will be editing this one. And uh, yeah, I've received some skincare that I find that you guys aren't that interested in skincare videos, so I don't do them. But for some reason, well, I know why, because I'm mature, a lot of companies that make skincare like to send me things, not a lot, but some, more so than makeup, because, I don't know, there seems to be this belief if you're mature, you don't want to look pretty, you just care about your skincare. Anyway, this is the perfect time to talk about those things. So, I'm going to pick up my trash. It's big. Oh my. It's big and it's heavy. I'm going to try to balance it on my knee here. And let's, let's, without further ado, get started. This is the Yonka Lotion. And lotion is actually a spray. It's like an essence. And they sent this to me, and I love this. It's gone, but it has a beautiful sprayer. I don't know if you can see that. Beautiful sprayer. So I might put something else in here just for this sprayer. But this is a beautiful, beautiful essence. I happen to use this the most before I do my zip. So when you're using a microcurrent, the more hydrated your skin is, the better the conductivity and the more even everything goes. Here she comes, shuts the door, changes the light. Thank you, Grace. And uh, I've gone through this. I put this on my face all over. Pat, pat, pat. Sometimes I'll do it again. Pat, pat, pat. And then I'll go on with my conductor. I let it absorb into the skin, but I don't wait too long because you don't want that trans epidermal. You really want your skin to be moist. Love this. Highly recommend it. Kopari, a moisture rip ceramide cream. I have another one. I really, really like this. Like, there might be a smidge left in here. There is. Hard to tell when it's white. Looks like this. And I think most people might think, ooh, it's too creamy. Ooh, no, I can't. There is a thickness to this, but this is such an interesting texture. It's almost like a cloud cream. But cloud creams have alcohol in them, which is not something I want to put on my face. This, again, it doesn't leave your face shiny. It's incredibly, it feels invigorating on the skin and it feels moisturizing and hydrating at the same time. I guess I should say that I'm a person who uses a lot of moisturizer. I like to layer it up. I start with something thin and then put something a little more occlusive over it during the day. It's very common for me to use at least two and sometimes I do more. And at night, I might use three or four moisturizers. And I felt that the moisturizer I've been using for many years, I wondered if I was becoming sensitized to it. I find that if you use the same product consistently on your face for five years, you could get a little sensitized. So I decided to use that liquid gold a little bit less often, and I did this one instead. Just like the liquid gold, it has ceramides, which are great for your skin. They're the building blocks for your barrier. And this is very, very nice Kopari Ceramide Cream. This is my Hada Labo. I believe it's called Lotion. I will do subtitles for everything, and I'll list everything below because I am shooting in the dark and I just cannot see. Everything is so small. And this is in Japanese, but this is my first moisturizer. I was just saying I like to layer them. This one is super hydrating. It's liquidy. Let's see. There, I think there's a little left in this. Here we go. It's a little liquidy, but it doesn't move too fast. But this is usually my first moisturizer, if it's not the water cream from Dermatology. And then I go on with something a little bit thicker. 
like the Kopari or the other one. And it is just lovely. I need that hydration first before I go in with everything else. And I love this and I've been using this for years. But again, as I said, I think when you use something for a really long time, you can become desensitized. So I alternate this with the water cream from Dermatology. This is the Dermatology Soothe and Recovery Cream, and I do have another one. <laughs> Don't worry, and I have another of the Hano Labo. This is thicker, and yet it's not too emollient. It doesn't feel like a grease bomb, and I cannot tell you how much I love this. Looks like yay. Whoa. Just hit my table and things fell, and it is one of those more occlusive layers that feels like it locks everything in and it's super good for your barrier for you have a compromised barrier my hands are going to feel and look so fabulous when this video is over i see an immediate difference with this hand already i can't recommend this enough i generally use this at night but when things are really really dry or maybe i'm adjusting to my retin a i've gone a little too heavy a little too frequent this comes into the picture even during the day sometimes it's my third on top of the liquid gold and sometimes it's instead of my liquid gold because it's more than that and i love that also from dermatology the needless serum I have a huge one now, so I have replaced this. I've spoken about this in dermatology videos. It's a lovely serum, really hydrating, and it also has um, my brain. I feel like since I haven't been feeling well, my brain is completely, I was going to say out of its mind, but really hard time with words, but it has fantastic ingredients. Go look at one of my dermatology videos if you want to know. It's, it's just a lovely, lovely serum, and I use it day and night. The Kerastase Hair Gloss, I mentioned this in the Sephora video. I have enough left. I didn't get another one at the sale, but I have one in my bathroom upstairs, and I use this about half the time. It's the K18 or this most of the time, but last night I used something else from Kerastase, a regular mask that, well, it's not a mask, it's a conditioner that's kind of thick, put it in the hair, comb it through. This one, same thing. Put it in the hair in the shower after you obviously clean your hair, and then I comb it through, and I leave it as long as I can, which isn't that long. So I might do some shaving, some scrubbing of my feet, do something to keep myself occupied, and then rinse it out, and that is your conditioner. It smells so good, and it makes the hair shiny, and it behaves well, keeps the frizz down. I highly, highly recommend this. Pillow Talk Derm, otherwise known as Shereen Address. I asked if, you know, they could send me a couple of things and they sent me this, which is an exfoliating mask. I was really hoping that she would send me the redness and I think I even said in my email, I have redness, but no. And you know what? I'm glad. Initially I thought, oh no, I don't think so. This will fade because it has fading agents like kojic acid in it, but it's also an exfoliating mask that is in a gel. Let's see if there's any left here. There is just a little bit. It's right here. You can barely see it because it's a little bit pink and my palms are a little bit pink. But you put a thin coat all over your face and you can leave it on for 15, 20 minutes. She said that she'll put this on and leave it overnight. Because my skin's sensitive, no. And I was afraid of this product, but you know what? I have a couple exfoliating masks. I have the Drunk Elephant, which I love. I hardly ever use it. I tried the Ordinary. I didn't really like it that much. This, I really, really love. It's not the same effect as the Drunk Elephant. With the Drunk Elephant, I think you do that much less frequently, but you have glass skin when you're done. This one is much more than a serum, where you really don't see a difference. It's more cumulative. And this one, she suggests that you use three times a week in order to get that fading. For me, I have used it a couple of times, three times a week, or maybe two times a week. She's just making me crazy. And I really, really enjoy this. I'm, I'm deeply, deeply surprised, honestly. I have had it for probably three months. That's how long it took me to go through this. If you do use it several times a week, you probably go through it faster. I will say that 
I used more product than you should. I didn't read the directions where they said thin layer. And I immediately felt that sting, which is just your pH. It's your pH going, oh, what's going on? It's not actually damaging your skin. And the first time I felt that, I never felt it again. If you're looking for something new to exfoliate that is gentle, gentle enough to use three times a week if you don't have sensitive skin, I highly, highly recommend this. It's really, really lovely. I've got a lot of these. <laughs> my zip gels. Uh, zip gels. This is my favorite zip gel. I have tried, I think I've tried all of them. I think there's four. The newer one is thinner and it's fine, but again, because my skin's sensitive, I like something a little more cushier and this is it. It's lovely. I will do my zip and get lazy and just have this gel on my face for a couple of hours before I finally wash my face. It's happened. It's not what you're supposed to do, but there are beneficials in here so you're not hurting your skin at all. And it's just lovely. I also love the fact that you don't have to wash your face to get this off. You can rinse it. You rinse it a lot, but you'll get it off. Where most gels, you really have to, I find, take them off first with a cloth or a paper towel and then wash your face because if you put soap on, all it's going to do is combine with the gel and now you have a soapy gel on your face, but you can't get anything off. If you don't have a zip, but you have something and you really hate the gel, like that's one of the things that I hated about the other microcurrent that I have. This is fantastic. I highly, highly recommend it. It's, and it also tastes good if you get it in your mouth. Mm. Okay, Bliss Blockstar. Bliss Blockstar, here's the deal with this. It's a very nice sunscreen. I haven't finished it, but I did pull it out recently and start using it again. It has a thickness to it. It has a shine to it. It has a very good color when you put it on. It is a very good color. And then it gets a little deeper and a little bit on the orange side. So for my skin tone, it's not doing what I want it to do for me, but it might work for you if you don't mind something a little bit thick. Again, dry skin in the winter time, that's when I was using this. Really enjoyed it. In the summertime, I, no doubt, it would feel very heavy and probably cause me to sweat a little bit earlier than I normally would sweat, which I have a, a really low set point for sweating. It's drugstore too. It does have a scent to it. It smells like botanicals, which I'm not into, but for drugstore, I say that's a solid sunscreen for something that's a little bit thick, a little bit tinted, and a little bit shiny. Now this is one of my very favorites. This is the Can Make. I just love these. These are so inexpensive. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at Stalvania. You can get them any tons of places. I go through this over and over and over again. It is small, but it's still inexpensive, you know, ounce for ounce. Love it. It sets up. It looks shiny, but it's not because it's greasy and it doesn't make my dry skin drier, which gels can. This is in my top three. Advanced Eye Cream, something that works for me. I've gone through so many of these. This is my day cream. This has vitamin K in it, and vitamin K strengthens your blood vessels. So the little vessels under your eyes, as you get older, they become weaker, and they seep, and they burst. If you are someone who does this a lot, you have allergies. Even if you sneeze or cough a lot, have a coughing fit, you can burst one. This helps those become stronger and as a result, you have less darkness under your eyes. Love it. I already have another one. Sunscreen. This is the Innisfree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Skin Gel. It is very similar to the Can Make, but not the same. They both dry down, so they are set, and you don't feel like your sunscreen is going all over your face when you're putting on your makeup. They both leave shine. They just have... They're different consistencies. This one is less thick than the can make. So when you put the can make on your hand and you go like this, it doesn't move. This one, it will move a little bit. I think it's absolutely lovely and I, and I adore it. Here's a sunscreen that a lot of people loved. It's called the Sun Project. I think it's by Thank You Farmer. The Shimmer Sun Essence. This is insane. <laughs> this is, if you use the proper amount, you are going to look like a globe. This is not the proper amount. This is, well, it might be for my hand. Look how shiny. <laughs> I mean, this is not cool. And I bought it because somebody 
recommended it, someone who I respect, but I can't imagine that she was using the full dosage. It is pretty. It is pretty. But for me, I think the best way to use that is to make it a topper sunscreen. You first have to check the ingredients to make sure that there's nothing in this one that argues with whatever you're using. Don't mix mineral and chemical that could be dangerous. It could not be, but you have to know which it is and I have to look it up. If there's something that doesn't agree with mineral, it's, it is pretty, without a doubt, but that's a little bit too much for me. And it has a scent that I'm not really delighted with. I, there's a part of me that thinks, oh, maybe I should try this again. So I'm gonna get a closer look at this date. If it's not expired, I think I'm gonna keep that and keep on playing with it because it's been a long time. These bronzy drops from Drunk Elephant. The idea is to not put this directly on your skin, it's to mix with something else. And I thought that it would come in really handy with some of my foundations that might be perfect for me in January and then look a little ghostly the rest of the year, but I very rarely used it. I very rarely went to the trouble of doing it. If you need something like that, this is a good way to go. It doesn't have an orangeness, so color-wise, I'm perfectly happy with it, but this is almost full, and I feel that this is past a good expiration. <laughs> it does not have an expiration date on it, but I feel a product like this shouldn't be hanging around for a really long time. Again, trying to clean out my space, and I got this when these came out. I think this might be two or three years old, so it is going. Another thing I'm cleaning out, the Sikapar. So this is the Sikapar serum, and it smells really nice, and I got this to help with my redness. Boom. And I didn't feel that it really did. It has a very fresh scent to it that I don't mind. But for me, I already use so many serums, it has to do something. I have to see something if it's making claims for something specific. And this is claiming that it's going to help with redness. And I found for me, it did not. So I'm just clearing out and this is going bye-bye. I can't say that I recommend it if you have redness, but that's for me. There might be other people who have redness who have loved it. Oh, this perfume, <laughs> it's called Poo Poo Be Doo, and it's insanely great. It's by Ego Facto. This is a brand that is no longer available in the United States. As far as I can see, I got it at Scent Bar, also called Lucky Scent. Online it's called Lucky Scent, I think, and in store it's called Scent Bar, and I love this. If you're in Europe, take a look. Ego Facto, Poo Poo Be Doo. It's delicious. And it's not really my thing. And this bottle, so, so pretty. It just, something I wear in the summertime, I don't really like sweet perfumes all that much. This has a little sweet, a little bit of white musk. Again, these are not things I'm into, but for some reason in the summer, I go crazy for it. The Hourglass Powder. I got this when it first came out and I thought, oh, I really like this. But the truth is, I was doing a clean out and I thought, let me leave this here and, and use this a couple of times. And I've decided, I don't have enough room to keep something that doesn't serve a function for me, that doesn't do something kind of magical to my skin. And this doesn't. I think their press powders are beautiful and they do do a little something magical to the skin, but this one, not. And when I say their press powders, I don't mean their new release. I haven't tried that. For me, it's the By Terry 95% of the time. This is going in the trash. The Kira Weiss Beautiful Tint looks like yay. Yay! The color is a little bit different. Their foundation was one of the best color matches I ever had. And for some reason, this one is a little more peachy, yellowy, and that's not great on me. It is, however, a lovely skin tint, and I find that it's a little bit more than a tint. It depends on how much you use, of course. Spread all over my hand, you can see the color not a huge amount of coverage, but you can see the color. So it's so important that the color works for you. I feel that the coverage though is a light medium. It's not, you know, company use the word tint for a lot of things. Maybe 
they should use a different word because tints often come in pumps and this is more than a tint and it's definitely not a good color for me. Such a disappointment color-wise. Beautiful though. My Mineral Magic, this is one of my favorite sunscreens in my top three, I would say. It has a little bit of peachiness, which you can see right here, and I feel when I put this on that it helps with my redness, where I feel like I could go on with a hardly any coverage foundation after that. I love it. Now, this I hate. Australian Gold. When Angie recommended this, I tried it, I put it on my face, and I swore then that this will never touch my face again, and it never did. However, I do have redness on my chest, and once this sets down, and you do have to give it time, it does not come off. One of the things I notice in the summer where I might be wearing a dress that's low cut, I, in the winter, I'm up here because I don't want any sun exposure, I put on my seatbelt, and one day I noticed my seatbelt had tons of sunscreen on it. It didn't look like sunscreen, but I ran my nail over it, and all this stuff was embedded in it. I'm like, wow. And even when I put my seatbelt on, I thought, wow, I just put on my sunscreen and now I'm wiping it off. This, you're not going to have that problem. This is expired and it's not a good color for me. I know they changed their colors. I think it's really hard to find this in your color. I'm going to throw this away because it's expired, but I might get another one come summertime so I can put something on my chest that will stay there it will help get rid of my redness, so if I'm wearing a little spaghetti strap square neck thing, my face won't be one color and my chest another color. This I need to throw away. I kept it really out of sentimentality more than anything else. It's from Dior and it's called Nude Air. And Armani did something like this as well. This may still. It's one of those weird thin things. There's a word for it, but as I said, words right now, not so good. Goes like this, and it actually offers pretty nice coverage. I wipe my hand of the Cure Weiss. It, it really worked for me, and this was the first foundation when I started getting back into makeup again that actually was a good color for me. So I was happy about it for a couple of reasons. It is quite old, definitely expired, and it's time for me to be unsentimental with something like that. So that's going in the trash. The Glow Maker Vitamin C. I love this. I love it. I love the dermatology. I'll go back and forth. This one is slightly better price. The May Love Moonlight Serum. So this is Retin Al, ending in AL. It is one step away from being bioavailable to your skin, then Retin A, and then Retin All. OL is two steps away. So this is something like training wheels. And for a long time, I was doing Retin-A on one day and then this the next day. And then I tried another product for a couple of months that has run out. And now I'm going back to Retin-A on one day and then I'll do this on the next day. I love this product. I love this company. My Marvis, my Marvis toothpaste, you can't find this anymore. It was a limited edition, but I just love it. I bought a ton of them because I knew it was a limited edition, so I'm stocked up on toothpaste for a very long time. Dermatology, here's the CEN Ferulic. I told you, I haven't done one of these in a while. Love it. My Retin-A. <laughs> I, I, yeah, ran out of that. This is weird. I changed my focal length on my camera and it's like when I move like this, it's like I'm, it's, it's weird. Say no more, it's Retin-A. K18, this is the other thing that I use in my hair and I do have one already going. So that I highly, highly recommend. Another of the can make, highly, highly recommend. Another one of the can make, highly, highly recommend. Tower 28, so here is something that makes a good color for me. The color Melrose is fantastic, but I don't really enjoy wearing this, and I can't put my finger on why I don't enjoy this. It's one of those sunscreens, but they package it like a foundation, because a sunscreen should be 1.5 fluid ounce, foundation is one, so it's kind of high price for what it is. And I didn't feel it did anything particularly magical for me. This one I might put on top of something else, but to use this as your sunscreen alone 
it doesn't look pretty. It doesn't look like makeup. It looks like a tinted sunscreen that you've gone too heavy on. Uh, this is another one that I love. This is the Shuamura Yubi Blonde. This is a mask. It's deep purple. Oh, if you're my age, you, you know deep purple. And yeah, I've taken just about everything I can out of this. I use this when I feel my hair is getting a little bit on the brassy side for whatever reason, maybe too much sun. So this is a great anti-brass kind of situation. I generally use that when I highlight my hair. I don't wait to see if I got any brass. I highlight my hair and then I put that on just to help everything out to kind of act as a toner in a way. And you guys, that's it. That was a big one. My hands are filthy, but I feel... I feel really proud of myself for getting that out of the way and giving you an idea about some new products for me and products that I've never spoken to you about before. And Grace is very impatient, so I think the timing is absolutely perfect to wrap this one up. Thanks for hanging out with me. What are you doing, baby? <laughs> and um, I hope it was helpful, and I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and smart, and I'm wishing you good health.